Hello, and welcome to our special about the end of the sp- no, end of the winter season, I almost said spring season, of anime. I'm your host this week, uh, Johnny Ruhal. With me, as always, is my co-host, Ben Kuhn is a boy, shabbing. Okay. Ben Kuhn? Yeah, well, Chan is a female um, okay. honorific, so I went with Kuhn, which is a male honorific, but not like a... I don't know. Chan is very much like a little girl honorific. Okay. Coon, I think, is just more like a, I don't know, like a generic male honorific. It's not like a, it's not like a Sama or. Was there you know, equivalent to Mister? Uh, that would be like Sama. Sama, cool. Yeah, I think. Don't quote me on that. Okay. That that might also be that might work for both male and female. Is it Sama? I'm trying to think. There's like a show we just watched. I think like Kaguya Sama. That'd be like Miss Kaguya. Yeah. Let's see. Let's let's just Google this real quick. We're gonna go down this subreddit or this uh, side tangent. Japanese Man. honor right away. It didn't even introduce the episode yet. There's Sensei okay. Sama. It's a more respectful version for individuals of a higher rank than oneself. Appropriate uses include divine entities, guests, or customers. Okay. So it does not have like a mm-hmm. connotation to it. Kun is a semi-formal title for a man, primarily men younger or the same age as the speaker. Same um, age or younger. This chan is a diminutive suffix. It expresses that the speaker finds a person endearing. Thus, using chan with a superior's name would be condescending. Um, and then there's san, which sometimes pronounced Han in Kansai dialect is the most commonplace honorific is in title of respect typically used between equals. And then there's Senpai. Yeah. And Sensei. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm not really seeing with the quick. But Kuhn technically wouldn't be right because I'm older than you. <laughs> and we're about the same. <laughs> it's also I don't respect you. <laughs> Damn. What is that? I don't have to. Do... Like yeah, it. coon can be used for females, but it's not normal. Gotcha. Let's see. Yeah. So okay, okay. So I've got some approximate English equivalents. San mm-hmm. would be Mister or Mrs. Sama would be Sir or Ma'am. Coon would be Master. That doesn't sound right. Chan would be little, senpai would be senior, sensei would be teacher. There's hakase, which is doctor. Doctor. There's some other like your majesty ones, haika, your imperial highness, denka, kaka, your excellency. Kaka is your excellency? Kaka. K-A-K-K-A. Okay. Kaka. Okay. It's a a soccer player. (laughs) Okay. See. Got any other ones? Tan, which is what you oh, refer to babies. Tan. Okay. Being small. Or moe anthropomorphisms. What? <laughs> little, just, just, you know, you know little, little moe people. Like, aw. Oh, what would that come up It's not even in... Chan, it's Tan. When would that come up in the real world, I guess? It'd be like somebody trying to be like, I mean, little cutie or whatever, you know, like, but mostly it's used for babies. Gotcha. It's like, oh, I'm playing with, I'm playing with Bintan, little Bintan. Please don't say Bintan. (laughs) Start calling on my cutler. Yeah, so Kuhn is primarily men. I'm not seeing like a primarily um, Female. female one, really. But I think San typically gets used yeah. a lot more for for female. Like since Kuhn takes the male place, the gender neutral one gets used more often for females. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's enough about that side tangent of Japanese honorifics. Uh, I feel like I was pretty pretty accurate without having to look anything up. Okay. Um, 
I didn't know like the Imperial Highness ones, but <laughs> that's uh, fine. Those don't come up. up. You're not allowed to. Uh, Japan still has an emperor, but yeah, you wouldn't know that from watching anime because he's not allowed to be uh, portrayed on screen. Oh, really? Pretty much. It, like the current royal family is. Didn't just they like have a, an emperor in Cookie Us? That was an emperor of Britannia, not of okay. Japan. So um, as long as the emperor isn't from Japan, it's yeah. And uh, if it's like, I think also if if you're talking like old emperors you can like mention them but otherwise they're just like no you're not okay so it's like muhammad yeah exactly you're just not supposed to like talk about him because i was like wait a minute i watched so much anime and the emperor's never like the current emperor's (laughs) never been a plot line that seems weird oh they're not allowed there's a reason (laughs) okay that kind of makes sense i guess so but like the prime minister you know that shows up a bunch but like like nope nope don't portray the emperor it's not like the queen. You're not allowed to put the Emperor of Japan in the Peppa Pig game. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're, uh, we're, gonna we're talking about our winter season here. Yes. Uh, this shouldn't be a surprise. We watched four shows. I watched the fifth show. Okay. We gave our like first three episodes. We gave our mid-season thoughts. Now it's time mm-hmm. to give our, our end game, our final thoughts here. This is the end game. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Um, so I think we should just start with the order I have them written on my page here. Okay. Um, which is almost the order that I rank them. So. Interesting. Spoilers. But I'll give my official ranking at the end of this. Okay. What are we starting with? Okay. Tomo-chan is a girl. What are your general thoughts? Oh, I should note. Spoilers for all Mm -hmm. of these four animes. I guess. Which I'll just, I'll just say them up top. Tomo-chan is a girl. Nagatoro second season, Ice Guy and his cool female colleague, Buddy Daddies, and I watch Inspector season two. I will not spoil that one so much because Ben has not seen any of Inspector. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's on Tomo Chan. Uh, first of all, is Tomo Chan a girl? Yes. yes. Oh, very much so. <laughs> yes. Um, I like the show. It was really fun. Um, kind of runs that same romance comedy issue I guess I have where it gets kind of boring towards the middle. I think. Yeah, because you're like, okay, they're delaying. Yeah. Stall tactics. It's like the first six episodes are great, and then you're just they just they kind of just drag it a little bit. You get that like side story with Gonzo. Gonzo. <laughs> Was it Guma Gunza? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. The best friend. What's her um, name? I don't her know. Her name like is Gundo. Gundo. Misuzu Gundo. You get, like, Gundo, where, like, she has a plot line where she's, like, feels, I guess, guilty about trying to make Tomo-chan act more like a girl. Yeah. So yeah. she kind of, like, distances herself, where you're just, like, okay. But isn't the middle episodes, isn't that also where we get the the thugs threatening Gundo and Carol? Yes. Which was, like... Well, I feel like That's you get like, like half an episode season. where you get like kind of more of a fun one and then you get kind of more of a serious one. Okay. And it's just those serious ones where I'm just like, okay, I don't really care about this. Let's go back to like Tomo-chan beating up on gang members. Yes. yes Stuff because, like that. Again, full spoilers here. There is an episode where, well, first of all, Tomo-chan's already beat up on some hooligans at school. Mm-hmm. Then they decide to go after her defenseless friends, and mm-hmm. that was a mistake. Yes. Because her and June show up, and and then after they kick their ass and they leave, Gundo goes and threatens the guy. He's like, all right, you, you see who I've got you know, working for me here. You better make sure nobody else bothers us. It's like, I can't control those people. You better make sure nobody else bothers yes. us. <laughs> you better do your damnedest. To make sure that we're not fucked with. <laughs> and it's like, ah, yes. Cold-hearted Gundo is going to become a mafia boss. <laughs> I love it. It was great. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. As a whole, though, I really liked it. It's real fun. Mm-hmm. I do like how it concludes. Yes, there is a conclusion. I will, I will say this was like a long time coming. I didn't know this, but this manga is been out and i guess had like some serious delays for it getting finished for a while people were wanting this anime for like 10 years oh really yeah i didn't know it was that old i want to say the manga started in like 2008 or something it's it's just like oh people 
I just saw a comment that's like, ah, oh, it's good that, you know, we finally got that anime adaptation that everybody on our mango wanted. It's like, wait, everybody wanted this? People knew this was... This, this is from a... 2015 to 2019. Okay. Well, that's almost 10 years ago. I, okay. But it's just like, the manga, if it finished in 2019, that means it's been complete yeah, for yeah, yeah. four years. Mm-hmm. And it was, you know, a darling. It was, people wanted it, so... Um, but yeah, no, I, the show is great. Mm-hmm. I think there's more manga, but maybe not enough for a second season. I haven't read the manga. I might go read the manga for this, especially hearing that it's completed. Um, yeah, I don't know anything about the manga, but yeah, I enjoyed it. It's real fun. Okay. So we recommend Tomo Chan. What would you rate it? Probably like seven and a half to eight. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Eight feels a little strong, but eight I'll give it an strong. eight. Yeah. I'll round up. Mm-hmm. So I did give it a seven and a half after, if I had to like round it though, I'd go up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go with, let's go with our next show on the list, Nagatoro's second season. So first of all, how do you think this compares to the first season? Um, Let's see. Probably as a whole, probably about the same. I definitely like that it's just we start with them being basically friends. You don't have to suffer through those first yeah couple episodes and the, the kind of like awkwardness of them first. Yeah, it's real. It's real. It's, you can't. Yeah. It's hard to show people the first season of Nagator that you're starting to see how this show just just like the manga is like oh it's just like. They tricked us. They baited us with degeneracy, and instead we get wholesomeness. Yeah. It's just, this one is just... It's just very sweet. We just start with the wholesomeness, so it's like, yeah, this is what I like. Mm-hmm. Again, we're in full spoilers here. Mm-hmm. Um, not as much, like, resolution as there is in Tomo-chan, where it's just like, okay, come on, I know you... you we're, we're making progress, yeah, we, but we're not there. We, got we more... know these two have feelings for each other. Like, everybody knows it. It's just the, they know it, yeah. <laughs> but uh, trying to get them to seal the deal, basically. Yeah, it's like the things need to become official, mm-hmm. and they probably will have enough for. Well, depending, we're we're getting real close to to the manga being like, like okay, this is where a lot of mangas end. Mm-hmm. Maybe it could go on from here in a different form, which. These newer, like, romance mangas, like, there are, there are romance mangas out there who are just like, oh, yeah, the couple got, like, together. And now that it's just about them being a couple. Mm-hmm. You, or, like, it, it doesn't end with them getting together. So, it's possible Nagatoro will go in that direction. But it's all just basically, like, yeah, everybody and their sister knows <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> that these people are a thing. And they just haven't, like officially done anything yeah spoilers they end on a hug yeah. which is just like which is and yeah. only <laughs> oh, okay it does not exist in the manga gotcha i mean the fact that they tried to hug at the end of the date was a thing that got interrupted by them mm-hmm. but the fact that they're just like okay we'll give you an, a scene where they they finish the hug that didn't happen in the manga and but that- other things have happened yeah, you just um, watch that and you're like, okay, we're on a path here. They're, they're basically like, well, you know how we move... In the in the first season of the anime, the kiss on the cheek happened way earlier than it did in the anime. and It happened way earlier in the manga than it did in the anime. Okay. Because there was like the little like fake out where she uses the toy to kiss him on the cheek or whatever. That's just when the kiss on the cheek happened. Oh, okay. In the, in the manga. And they're like... Let's push that to the end so we have this nice, like, yeah resolution. And then this one, they're like, all right, let's throw a hug in here so we have this nice resolution. Mm-hmm. Because the manga has the added bonus of, like, okay, well, now we can keep building. Mm-hmm. Whereas the anime is like, we may not be able to keep <laughs> building. Who knows if we'll get a third season. Um, what would you rate? So you said about equal overall or they end up about equal. yeah they end up about equal they end up at the, but it's just this it's a more consistent quality throughout yes. second seasons kind of what we're mm-hmm. thinking i think like towards the last half the first 
season and like I think the whole second season is probably just about on par with each other. It, yeah. It's all the same quality, but the second season itself, you would probably go yeah. higher. It's just more wholesome stuff yeah. rather than the, it's like if you were less any, teasing, more. It's like if you got a. It's like one year at school, you get a C the first semester. And then a B. The it's second. like the first season is them, or like Nagatoro just like teasing him, or like I don't want to mm-hmm. say bully, but like well, she does bully him, but oh, it's most certainly bullying. I'm gonna say like teasing, Toy. yeah, toying with him. <laughs> yeah. Now she's just flirting. Yeah, it, I mean she's still like being like you're gross, but yeah. it's just like it's so clearly. I feel like endearing every single like shot of Nagatoro, she's blushing. So it's just like, yeah. <laughs> well, because Nagatoro's what they call a glass cannon. <laughs> she can dish it out hard, but she can't take the damage. Mm. So, like, okay. her... Anytime Senpai is like, wait a minute, I can fight back? She's putty. <laughs> She's putty in his hands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's what I like. So I would, I guess I would say second season's a little better. But again, yeah, just well, because it's, it's, just... it's less teasing and more flirting. Yeah. So going back to my analogy, first quarter of one year, you get a C. Second quarter, you get a B. And then your your last half, you get A's. Well, then your next year, you just get A's every quarter. Then it's like, okay, you ended up in the same spot, but you're just better throughout, if I that makes you. sense. You know? So, like, yeah, the, the season one is on par with season two, but it has to take its time to get there. Mm-hmm. Um, what would you rate Nagatoro's second season? Not, we're doing this My Anime List Rules, where you have to rate it yeah. separately than you rate the first season. I mean, I'd give probably the same as Tomo Chain, seven and a half. Seven and a half, up, round well, up to eight. eight. Okay. All right. I'm right there with you. Mm-hmm. I might like Tomo Chain a little more. Talk about that later. Okay, we can talk about that. Um, okay. Let's talk about our third show here. The Ice Guy and his cool female colleague. What are your thoughts on this show? I think this show kind of sucks. <laughs> okay. Do you agree with me? Uh, yeah. I would say it was fine. The, the first two shows we just talked about were like, yeah, there's some resolution. Great. We're like, this I'm one is watch- like, nothing happens. <laughs> They're in the same spot they were in episode one, except the guy's creepier now. Yes, most certainly. So it's just like, okay, what was the point of this? <laughs> it's, yeah. I, I guess I guess that's a lot of animes that I just don't watch. It's just nothing happens. But I hate it. <laughs> I think there are some fun characters, not the main two characters. I think they're okay. I think they're sweet. I think they should just be like, what? (laughs) I think they're just dumb. Yeah. (laughs) Just like, oh, she's sweet. She's so, she's dumb. Maybe not dumb. She's just kind of like. She's just not looking for a relationship and is therefore oblivious to. I guess she's just kind of oblivious. Yeah. Which I don't get because he's like causing a snowstorm at every two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime he looks at her, he's Well, she like... knows he's causing a snowstorm. She just doesn't like put two and two together because she's never. She's never seen herself that way or something? Well, she's never had strong emotions. I guess. So it's hard for her to understand somebody having strong emotions about her. Okay. So, like, that's. I, I have a feeling that. If he wasn't, I I don't like using this word negatively. If he wasn't such like a a, a simp, (laughs) like, and he just had a little bit of backbone and he was just like, okay, do you want to be my girlfriend? She'd probably be like, yeah, okay, that sounds fine. I'm fine with that, but that doesn't happen. (laughs) Yeah, I know, because his character, she's not going to make the first step because she doesn't have... A reason to. Like, the biggest step they make is, like, they admitted they kind of went on a date. Yeah. Um, it's just like, okay, <laughs> she would probably say yes if he asked her out, but she's not going to do it because it doesn't, it's not what she's looking for. I guess. So, like, I feel like her emotions, she's like, oh, yeah, I like that guy, but they're not strong enough for her to do something about it. Okay. It's, whereas he's just, like, Whereas he's too cowardly yeah. to do it. Um, 
you know, his emotions are very strong. That's his problem. <laughs> yeah. But he's just like, he's too nervous to do anything about it. And it's frustrating. Yes. Um, I like, I like the, the Fox coworker. And I like the one coworker who has short hair and glasses because you she's know the that, best. You know that's our type. Yes, we have a shared type, and do that's we, it. Short hair. We're gonna hair do glasses. best girl real quick. <laughs> yeah, For Ice Guy. It's her. <laughs> um, uh, her name is Otonashi. Okay, Otonashi her, her, is best girl. Her description in my notes is literally short hair, glasses. <laughs> short hair, glasses. She's got a bit of a timber. It's great. Boom. Mm-hmm. Done. And <laughs> I hate the Phoenix guy. I don't know. Just something about him was just like. This is because he's like artsy or whatever? No, okay. no. I don't like that his art is, like, not good. <laughs> I like the other guy, his other f- co Oh, yeah, the normal um, Saijima. Yeah. He's he's I, cool. I think, I, like, the <laughs> best part of the show is just where he's like, well, the Fox girls is like, yeah, we should probably find them. He's like, you don't want to spend time with me he's, together? She's like, oh, you're such a kidder. He's like, I'm not kidding. <laughs> it's like, seriously? <laughs> I just like him. <laughs> yeah. That, that I like that. That's a good ship. That's mm-hmm. that's not like she's so like emotionally detached. She's just like, but she's also I, the problem with the girls in this show is like none of them are like looking for yeah. relationships, um, which is fine. You don't yeah. have to. I, I shouldn't say that's a problem, but like mm-hmm. that's that's kind of all their thing. One of them is just like, oh, I'm. My emotions are muted, and that's why I'm not looking for a relationship. The Fox girl is just like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm in it for the lulls, and I don't take anything that these people mm. say seriously. Um, and then Otanashi is just like, okay, I get it. You're just trying to be nice to this coworker, this younger coworker, your co-high. Um, and... You really... He's also really annoying. I wouldn't be attracted to him either. <laughs> like, they're just like, yeah, I get it. Oh, she's just like, yeah, this guy's kind of annoying, but he's a pretty good worker. Yeah. I'm like, I like, I don't have anything against him as a person, yeah. but he does get on my nerves. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I can relate to that. Because like he gets on my nerves, too. Uh, and I want to make it... I want to make it clear. It's not just because of his art. That's just the thing okay. where I'm like, yeah. okay, yeah. like... They're doing a bit where his art is weird and nobody mm-hmm. gets it. But also, his art is weird and I don't get it. <laughs> nah, he's just like that super perky, like, upbeat guy who just won't shut up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. His personality is more annoying than his mm-hmm. art. The art's just the cherry on top. It's just like... And I, I know they're in, it's intentionally bad because that's the bit. But it's just like... There's really good, like, modern art, yeah. weird art out there. And I just don't think that's it. <laughs> Probably why he's not an artist anymore. Because <laughs> yeah, nobody else got it either. Okay. Also, uh, he has like the worst power that you could think of. He makes fireworks. He makes fireworks. You hate fireworks. I want to make it clear. Fireworks are overrated. Firework finales, great. Give me a finale for like 20 minutes long, I'm in for it. Mm-hmm. Give me our local fireworks show where it's like one firework every like five seconds and then a cool finale. Snooze fast. <laughs> People taking pictures of fireworks, taking videos of fireworks. That one time you tweeted at me <laughs> a video of fireworks in slow motion and I watched it for some reason. I'm like, I don't get this. Was this supposed to be good? And it's like, no. It's why nobody wants to see your Pictures of fireworks or your videos of fireworks that you posted, they're not cool. Fireworks themselves are just barely cool when they get to a finale. I don't care about Is it because we don't get, like, the cool ones that are shaped like dragons and stuff? Yeah, that would help. It's but, just... like, it's also just, like, I don't know. It's, like, after, like, seven like fireworks. Where they have, like, the fireworks where it just, like, comes at you. And it's like shaped like a dragon. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, that would be interesting. Be dangerous, Around... but it'd be cool. If Gandalf's in charge of the fireworks, I'm in. Okay. All right. Now, if it's what we have around here, where it's like, okay, there's like maybe six types of fireworks that they can be, yeah. and it's just cycling through those six mm-hmm. fireworks twenty times, and then a finale. Whatever. Yeah. 
I'm with you. The, the I, usual fireworks are. We, we've got. Yeah. We, we we share this hot take about fireworks. I don't know if I'm as hot take as you, but I, I get it. You you agree with me? I'm just more fervent about yeah. it. <laughs> we, we have. The I'd same. be like, I think fireworks aren't that great. But if you like them, go right ahead. You're like, no, you suck. <laughs> Why do you like this? <laughs> You're gonna t- you're gonna sit here and tell me that you enjoy any that you enjoy after the first like four fireworks. You enjoy the rest of the fireworks show until you get to the finale, and then the fireworks are like twenty minutes. Yeah, it's like that's not worth it. No, I don't I, like I, it. I I'm, just, just I'm, like, I'm not gonna like yuck people's yums. I guess for whatever. I went to a fireworks show on Fourth of July at like the zoo or something in. Um, or not the zoo, but like that park by the zoo in St. Louis. Okay. And we had to park so far away and walk so far for like 20 minutes of fireworks. And I'm like, why did I agree to come? Yeah. <laughs> and then we were you. stuck in traffic and it's just like, this is, this was the worst. Yeah. I'm done with fireworks. Okay. <laughs> if, I, if I can't, if it's not a, uh, well, we can sort of see the fireworks from our house when mm-hmm. they do it around here. Um, and one time I went it's like to if our Sarah fireworks Park. were like all the summer festivals and animes we've seen, we might like fireworks. Yeah. But they're not. They're not. Upside is we get better personal fireworks than Japan does. You ever see the people like playing with fireworks? They have sparklers. Yeah. Like that's about it. Well, yeah. I don't know the Joe Drew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> God, I don't know either. You know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. The Roman candles are cool. Bottle rockets are cool. The, the versions of fireworks that are just bigger bottle rockets. I don't know. I feel like bottle rockets are overrated. You just light it and it goes poof. Well, you, you don't understand, Ben. You fire the bottle rockets at people. No, that's just dangerous. Well, they have to be willing. No, I'm not doing that. I don't play with sparklers because they're dangerous. <laughs> My brother would... Um, I got have... burnt by sparklers once. I'm like, I'm done. No, this is stupid. <laughs> My brother would have bottle rocket wars in our backyard. They just buy a bunch of bottle rockets and him and his friends. Like to the point where, like they would hollow out a, um, like one of the the long yellow skinny wiffle ball bats. Yeah. And like cut a hole in that and use that to like mm-hmm. aim the the bottle rocket launcher. Yeah. Just stuff like that. And it's just like okay, they like take cover behind stuff. And it's like, yeah, okay. That's a fun thing for teenagers to do. Yeah, until somebody blows their eye out. Well, wear glasses. Okay. Don't aim for the face. Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. Aim, don't aim for the face. Aim uh, for the dick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, all right, you just shoot bottle rockets at things. That's what it's fun. Don't for. be a dick. Aim for the dick. <laughs> uh, and they don't hurt that bad, from what I've heard. Again, we never really did it no. as, as friends. Because I would but not have was... done that. But it was something my brother did. Fireworks bad. <laughs> um, okay. Should we move on? Should we talk about the last show oh, that we, we watched? We gotta today? rake it. Oh, yeah. Oh, like five. It's like a five. Generous is six, but it's probably more than five. I think I've already rated it on my anime list. Um, I think one episode should just be me going through my anime list and ranking every show we watch because I haven't done that. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> that could be something. I'd be down for that because that's not a lot of work on my <laughs> I'm just there to, like, disagree with you. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go to my anime list and then we can go to completed. Complicated. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Actually, it's probably just going to be quicker if I search for Ice Guy. <laughs> probably. Instead of looking at my list. It's the ice guy and his cool female colleague. Which I think I spelled colleague wrong. Anyways. So yeah, we both give it like a five. I think. Unless Johnny... Yep, I give it a five. Yeah. <laughs> Average. It's, it's not good. He turns into a kid again. That was kind of fun. Yeah. Also kind of creepy. Again, yeah, she's like, he's so adorable as a kid. I'm going to make that my lock screen. It's like, that's a little weird. It's weird. <laughs> keep it in your pants. Especially for a kid. <laughs> I know he's like 22, but it's just weird. What did I give Nagatoro? Oh, so that happens every I, I gave time. It, I gave it a 7, sick. but round up to an 8. I gave it a 7 on my anime list. I guess I was more critical that day. 
I guess I didn't want it to enter the eight range. Um, and then we'll look at Tomo Chan. We'll go here. I think I was like comparing it to like, well, I like Tomo Chan more. Okay. And on that one, well, I guess I gave that one a seven too. So I was a little bit more critical more when critical I was adding it to the it. list. They were good, but I, didn't, I said they. I guess I said they weren't great. So okay, because yeah, eight is great, right? I think so. So it's, nine is fantastic. They don't have like points either, right? Yeah, they don't have points. Yeah. So I get it. So you're like, I don't want to say this is great, but I can't say like really good. So yeah, yeah. So I rounded down there. I rounded up here talking to you. So gotcha. Um, let's talk about our last show, Buddy Daddies. Buddy Daddies. What are your thoughts on Buddy Daddies? Um, I actually kind of like it. I thought it was fun, nice, enjoyable family. So Buddy so. Daddies, the problem with Buddy Daddies is we were like behind on it all the time. Yes. And it's just like, it's that show where it's like, do we want to watch Buddy Daddies? Eh, not really. No, you're like, I don't really want to watch Buddy Daddies right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, I guess that was just me. I mean, I wasn't like... You weren't like, no, we door. need to watch Buddy no, Daddies. If you like, don't watch okay, Buddy Daddies, I'll watch I could have watched it, but whatever. We could wait. Yeah. Um... So Buddy Daddy's, yeah, it's just, it wants so bad to be Spy Family. Spy X Family, however you pronounce I don't know. it. And it's just not quite to that level. The little girl annoys me. The little girl is a little, is annoying. I don't think she's as central a character as the kid from Spy Family, though. Correct. Anya is, like... In, at least in the first like season, the main of Spy character Family is the one of two main characters. Yeah, with your or not Lloyd. With Eeyore. Lloyd. Now, your we all kind of wish was more mm -hmm. like a third main character, where she really plays a more of a supporting role in season one. But hoping that she'll become a tri tri protagonist. I'm trying to remember, what, is it just called tri protagonist? I don't know. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, so it's like, the little girl is just, it's like, okay, she's just sort of like hyper and annoying. Kind of spoiled too. <laughs> Most certainly spoiled. Yeah. Um, but it's just like, again, she's not in it enough to be like yeah annoying. To the I don't where, care like, as much about the two dudes as I care about your and Lloyd and Spy Family. It's just, I don't know. but it's really going for a similar like, okay, we've got two trained killers and a child. Yeah, and... I guess their personalities are a little different, though. Lloyd is, like, this professional assassin who'll kind of do whatever for the job. These two are just, like, one's, like, super... One's, super one's the efficient. extrovert, one's the introvert, yeah. basically. Yeah. and it's I don't like... mind that dynamic. I like that dynamic. Yeah, it worked. It was mm -hmm. fun. I mean, it's... Um, I put my rankings down, and I guess I forgot what I rated Buddy Daddies, because I rated Buddy Daddies a six... Because I'll, I'll just go through my order right now. Here. Okay. Um, so right now, five minutes before we started recording, I wrote down, okay, number one, Tomo-chan. Easy. Okay. With a bullet. Number two, Nagatoro, second attack. Easy. With a bullet. Okay. Number three, Inspector, season two. Okay. Easy. With a bullet. Number four, I don't know, Ice Guy. <laughs> number okay. five, I don't know, Buddy Daddies. But I guess I, when I rated them on my anime list, I swapped those two. Which okay. was sort of my intention of whatever. <laughs> okay. Again, I didn't watch Inspector. But my ranking was Tomo-chan, number one. Number two is Don't Toy With Me, Naga Miss Nagatora, second attack. Yep. Which I could kind of flop those. I think they're kind of on par with each other. So they're I, not with a bullet. I think I was more looking forward to watching Tomo Chen than Nagatoro. But I also have to keep in mind that I knew everything that was going to happen. I just didn't mm -hmm. know how far they were going to go. I guess to me, I knew what I was getting with Nagatoro. With Tomo Chen, I didn't know if, if I was getting more of the comedy side or the dramedy side. Okay. I did not really want that one side. So I'm just like, I yeah. I get you. That's fine. But I still think Tomo Chan's a little bit better. But again, I could flop those two. Mm -hmm. Buddy Daddy's is three with the bullet. Ice Guy is number four with the bullet. Yeah. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with switching those on mine, okay. too. Cause... Also, Buddy Daddy's has an ending. 
<laughs> True. Gives it a plus. Yes, yes. <laughs> that girl grows up. Yes. <laughs> we see it. There's a high school. Start a restaurant. I like it. It's a good ending. Um, I'll talk a little bit about it, Inspector Season 2. Okay. I like Inspector Season 1 more. Okay. That's what I'll say. It's still good. It's still very much like... There's a lot of talking in the show. <laughs> Not a lot okay. of, like, action. And it's all fine because it's just like... Is it interesting dialogue or is it just them talking? Well, it's like... You have to solve this murder. And then it's like... Well, they could spend an episode or two like going around searching for clues, interrogating people. Or we'll spend an episode where this girl's like, Well, here's, here's what could have happened. And then being like, Nah, I was just seeing how you would react to that. Here's what actually could have... Like, it's just like... It's unraveling a mystery, but there's not a lot of, like, actual investigative work done that we see. See, I think that would be my problem with the show, is it's just... Well, and it's not mumbled. just unraveling a mystery. Sometimes it's just, like, in the first season, at least, it's just, like, um, it, it deals with, like, a like a tulpa sort of thing, where it's a... Well, in... We, we dealt with something similar in, like, Mob Psycho Season 2, where there's just like, oh, yeah, this urban legend that exists yeah. has power because of all these stories that mm-hmm. people have made about it. And, like, somebody was, like, abusing that power to, like, make this unstoppable monster sort of thing. And was the other main character is like, no, I just have to, like, spread disinformation around. And my lies have to, like beat out this other person my, my mm-hmm. story that i make up my lies have to beat out this yeah. other person we're competing with here you know it's just i think it blended with there being a little bit more action better in the first one or is this one it's just like okay i think that could be the problem with detective shows if it's just people like talking and just nothing really happening yeah. it can get boring i will say that the the main girl she's still great Okay. I could have I could have used a little bit more of like in the first season they're very much just like and we'll just have a, a scene of her like in a relaxed mode where she has her prosthetic leg and her fake eye out and it's just like yes embrace the <laughs> embrace the fact that uh, you're not flaws that's not the right I don't want to say flaws or disabilities but your your differences it's just like sir I don't think disabilities is mean. Okay. That's, what, that's what it is. Yeah. It's just like, there's also just, there's a scene in the first season where she's like commanding a, she's like riding on the shoulder of a giant skeleton. I'm like, what? That's awesome. <laughs> we don't get that in the second season. It's only a medium sized skeleton. <laughs> um, she very much alludes to riding on somebody's bone. That's for sure. God. <laughs> They're college students. They're adults. Okay, well let's wrap let's wrap this up. This is a family show. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it wasn't until you s- implied she railed the dude's bone. I didn't or imply was implying it. it. She implied it. <laughs> that she did it or she wanted to do it. Both. Okay. And the guy is very much like please ignore her. <laughs> <laughs> she really shouldn't be saying this in public. She's you're embarrassing me. You're embarrassing yourself. Mm-hmm. But yes, we did it. <laughs> yes, you are my girlfriend, but I find you unattractive. <laughs> it's a weird dynamic. They I find have. you repulsive. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really weird dynamic they have. But ultimately sweet. I hope. <laughs> okay. It's not one of those things. Like he's like nagging her. Is no. It? Okay. No, it's like. It's like he had no interest in dating her, and she wore him down. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Yeah. And he's very much still just like, you're going to be like this? (laughs) I don't know. This this doesn't sound like he's happy. (laughs) No, it doesn't. This is probably a bad thing, though. (laughs) Probably. I don't think you should like this. (laughs) I don't know, man. It sounds a little... She's charming. And cruel. Mental... What do you call that? Abuse, almost. <laughs> ah, it's fine. He's attracted to He's his not cousin. baby trapped, is he? <laughs> what? Is he baby trapped? She whispers. <laughs> okay. I don't think I like this show. <laughs> You've never seen it. You can't say anything. I don't think I'm going to like this show. 
Okay. Inspector. Uh, what did I give this one? I think I gave it a seven for this season. So you but like, it. I would round down on this one. Okay. Maybe just like a straight seven instead of a 7.5. Gotcha. So it's good, but not real good. Yes. Why can't I find the second season on here? Did you spell it right? Yeah. Is it N dot Spectre? In slash Spectre. Ooh. They gave season one an eight. Mm. Okay, we can just assume you gave it a seven then. Yeah. 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 It's fine. It's fine. I'm happy now. Well. <laughs> here we go. Related anime. Okay. Season two. Okay. I have it marked as completed. I gave it a seven. Yep. Okay. Again. <laughs> All that lead up. I gave it a seven. So not as good as the first season, but. Not as good as Tomo Chan and Toro, but I still liked it well enough. I didn't want to give it a sixth. I didn't want to give it the same rating as Buddy Daddies. Yeah. What did you give Buddy Daddies? I'd give it like a seven. Okay. I like Buddy Daddies. Okay. All right. Um, okay, we've probably gone on longer than oh, we yeah. really needed to. So, I told uh, you we need to get like 30 minutes. Yeah, I just... I never know. I like I had no notes this time. I just like, go up, but then it's like, oh, I can just talk about the whole the show as a whole for this. Yeah. So that that helped me ramble on. We'll spend five peak. minutes talking about Japanese surnames, basically. <laughs> Not surnames. Whatever. Honorifics. Honorifics. Okay. <clears throat> well, hey, um, sorry that you're getting this instead of a real episode this fortnight. It's a uh, real episode. I guess. We talked for 40 minutes. That's as long as some episodes. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is about all we had time to record before I leave on vacation to New Zealand. Yes. Um, you can find us on Twitter at anime underscore territory. You mm-hmm. can find us on YouTube as anime territory. You can find us on... Um, any podcast platform really is anime territory we're hosted by spotify for podcasts which used to be called anchor mm-hmm. um it's a dumb name you can watch me and a different guy named ben and another guy named matt play uh gloomhaven streaming every now and again on twitch.tv slash the mini uh we'll also sometimes stream other stuff there we played chrono trigger and we'll do like unboxings of uh tcg stuff um you have anything you want to add Nope. Okay. You're now leaving the anime territory. Goodbye.